Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to Commute Talk. We are back in the car, going to work once again after a Christmas holiday. And it's gray and rainy and pissy, but it's probably going to be okay. Uh, I think it's going to be okay. Now, I have some, uh, some very difficult things coming up personally, but I remain hopeful that everything's going to be, um, be okay. And I hope that things are okay with your things, whatever they are and wherever you are. But um, right now, I thought I would talk a little bit about the Christmas holiday, the things that I got into, and then I guess looking forward a little bit. So I got totally blindsided over the holiday by, um, by Serenity being included in one of these Capture the Flag competitions at the 36C3 um, security conference or whatever you call it so basically someone set up a, a little competition to hack Serenity and gain root access um, or more specifically to to, um, to gain access to a some data that was stored on a hard drive that um, that was also connected to a machine running Serenity and um, I've seen so far I, I learned that there were a total of six teams that were able to uh, gain access to this data. And I've heard from, or I've seen from two of them um, because they posted write-ups on uh, GitHub, you know, with their exploits and little descriptions of how, the, how they got access. And it was absolutely awesome, super fascinating stuff. And while I was blindsided, I was also super stoked because I don't know, I just got really excited that someone even thought to include it in such a competition. And um, before that happened, there was really very little in terms of um, security mitigation or even security thinking in the system. <clears throat> there was the, uh, I mean, we have like the basic <clears throat> Unix um, super user versus unprivileged user stuff, but uh, very little of it was um, even enforced in the file system. Or it was enforced by the kernel, but <laughs> the whole file system had very lax permissions by default. And um, it just, it was, it was really interesting that that they went and they poked at this specific little thing because before that I just uh, I didn't really care that much about the security angle. I was always just thinking, you know, I'll, I'll go and look at that later when the time comes. And then suddenly um, these guys, they just knock on the door and they're like, hey, the time has come. So <laughs> that was really nice. Um, and I don't even know what I was going to do. I, ha I had some ideas of what I was going to work on before that whole thing started, but then I just got totally sidetracked, and I've been learning about, um, I guess, essentially hacking, right? Like in the uh, in the new sense of the word, like breaking into things and exploiting vulnerabilities and stuff like that. <clears throat> and uh, it's pretty fun, um, but uh, it's it's definitely not something that. Uh, is like it doesn't tickle my primary interest in computers because it's <clears throat> it's like uh, creative but it's not um, constructive so um, I, I very much appreciate it and, and like um, it, there's a beauty in it right there's a beauty in the subversion and in the simplicity of it all um, and I really appreciate it but I don't think it's like something that I would ever focus on completely myself but regardless um, just the experience of having the system owned in the competition just made me realize that I don't know nearly enough about this <clears throat> at all like I had some clue about the mechanism of these things but I'd never written an exploit <clears throat> at least not since I was 19 or whatever and even so back then I was just copy pasting shell code <laughs> like a little kid um, now um, I've been pretty hard at work I would say <clears throat> on implementing just uh, as many 
basic things as possible in Serenity since the uh, since the event. So I've enabled most of the x86 CPU features like uh, SMEP, SMAP, uh, UMIP, uh, NX, and these types of things. And <clears throat> there are probably more things that I could do, and I'm still researching and, and learning about this stuff. Um, but just like getting the, the baseline hardware protection up and going, um, I think feels good because at least it won't be as trivial next time someone decides to attack the system because, you know, the exploits that I've seen at least, they, they very, were able to very conveniently just uh, trick the kernel into jumping to a user space pointer and stuff like that. And, <clears throat> you know, that, that should not be allowed, obviously. Um, but there's a lot of stuff to do here, a lot of things to learn. And um, I'm, I'm happy to engage with it. So, in fact, I think that, that I, I really need to, I really need to like put the time in and, um, and like write some exploit code of my own and do some like, um, I guess what's called penetration testing, right? But I can do it. I can do it like targeting my own system. So uh, I think there are some advantages to that. I mean, some huge advantages, right? Because it's essentially I'm just, um, in a sense, I'm, I'm just like doing QA for myself, uh, for Serenity, by looking for bugs and then building uh, little unit tests for them. <clears throat> but just, um, as I think I need to do the exercise of, of writing a, a bunch of these things, exploits, I mean, just to get familiar with it and gain an understanding of how it's done. And if I can go in this way that, I, I posted a video yesterday of me uh, creating a uh, arbitrary kernel read vulnerability, I, I mean exploiting one, and creating an exploit for it to read some piece of memory from the kernel from user space. And I think I need to do more of these things, like lots of them, so that I can understand. And um, if I structure it in such a way that I find the bug, make the exploit, and then fix the bug, and sort of try to figure out what would be the best systematic way to um, disable this exploit going forward, if possible, you know? Um, because that's, I guess that's the part where I feel the most blind. Like, I understand that I can fix an individual bug by like, oh, this thing needs to check for, um, you know, bounce here on this VM allocation or whatever, right? <laughs> Or like, don't listen to the elf headers uh, without thinking. But um, are there ways to to disable these exploits at a higher level? Like, can you can you make it so that even if even if the bug is there, you can sort of neutral neutralize it somehow? That's the the part I really need to. Um, I think I, I basically I need to grind out a bunch of these exploits and bug fixes to get a feel for what you can do. Anyways. Um, so I guess that's something that I, I'll be doing at least some of going forward. And I don't know if it'll be interesting to people. Um, I know that um, people have different interests, right? And I just like programming. I like all kinds of programming. Um, and this is another angle of it that I'm not so familiar with. So. It's good to learn. Now, um, I guess I, I have to acknowledge that it was an extremely productive holiday for me. And it's been really fun because so many people apparently felt like the thing that they should do with their holiday was work on Serenity OS as well. So a uh, huge, huge thank you to everyone who hung out with me and uh, I was working on stuff. I realized that this uh, we can't go on like this forever and we have to get back to reality today, but it was really super fun, dude. Dudes and girls, uh, everyone who hung out. Uh, and I hope that all of you had fun and that you found 
something um, that you felt was worth spending your time on. And I hope you come back and work on it some more at some point. Because um, it's just really great with all the people helping out and making things so interesting. Um, yeah. So, you know, we're in a new year now. 2020. Um, I don't know what the theme of the year is going to be, but, and I don't know how far we're going to get with the things that we do, but I think we're off to a good start with this project. So I'm just going to keep pushing forward and I hope that, um, I hope that we can take it somewhere interesting. And I also hope that, that we will have more opportunities to see, um, to see this sort of thing where people um, attack the system and break into it and then publish what they what they found so that we can learn from it and improve because I don't know that was just super awesome the whole <laughs> CTF thing I, I loved it and um, it, would, it would be fun to to get the get the system to a point where it's uh, you know a non-trivial target um, but we are pretty far from there. Uh, I can tell because if I sit down to look for an exploitable vulnerability, it takes me less than two minutes <laughs> if I focus to find one. And it's kind of draining, so I don't do it over and over, but um, I would like to get to a point where it would take me you know, more than five minutes or more than 10 minutes, maybe half an hour. Um, and it's a long road ahead, I think, but it's an interesting one. So anyways, uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm just babbling now, so I'm just going to stop talking, but um, this is what's up going into the new year, and of course I'm still going to be doing all of the uh, regular OS hacking and the uh, DevTools hacking and browser hacking stuff, just uh, it's really unclear, there's no real schedule to anything, I'm just doing the thing that seems interesting at the moment, so thank you for bearing with me <laughs> while we continue. Um, I guess this opens up a new year of uh, questions and suggestions for commute talks, so feel free to drop comments below with uh, anything you would like to hear about or would like me to answer, um, and I will get to it well, when I get to it. So thanks everyone for hanging out with me on the commute, and happy new year, and I will see you next time. Bye.